Hello everybody. I am behind on some of my planning out videos and so I thought I would do um, an overview of my first eight beds because those are all planted. And so I can tell you what's in them and I can tell you how they're doing and um, just catch you up on everything that I've seeded that I've planted out that I haven't talked about yet. So in this first row, sorry, we're working the tractor today. In this first row, I've got Shirley poppies up at the front. I've got stock here in the middle that I planted out. And I have some Iceland poppies in here too. And then as we get towards the middle, I've got ranunculus growing, which some have come up, some have not. Now, if you recall, I started a lot of these indoors, but when I put them out, um, there was a pretty big frost and even though they were covered you can see right here they kind of died back but again I want you to think of cool flowers as not dying necessarily when there's a cold snap their root system is still intact and that's what really matters so as you can see they're starting to rebound already okay and then as we come to about right here I've got my anemone growing so you can see they are actually popping up pretty good right now. The first stems you get off anemone are going to be very, very short. You just want to deadhead those. And as the season progresses, uh, those stems are going to get longer. So don't worry. And I do have this row under shade cloth. And I've got drip irrigation set up inside. So these are all ready to go. I haven't actually turned on the irrigation system yet because I have a few more rows left to finish out here. Um, but when I do, I'll test the irrigation and probably start using it next week. We're getting some pretty high temperatures going on next week. So that is the first row, first bed. Over here along the edge, we have a fence that I want to get rid of. And so what I've done is to create a windbreak, I've planted a bunch of roses. These are all David Austin, and I have about, I think I have 16 going down this row. None of them are blooming yet, but they are greening up. You can see their foliage right there. Okay, so that is the windbreak that um, when it fills out, it'll be really helpful to slow the wind down coming on this side. Cardi, a Sadie. Okay, in the second row, I have mostly lilies. So these lilies on the front, I planted last fall. Um, actually, sorry, this is iris. My bad. So this iris in the front, all of it actually I planted last fall. In the middle is yarrow. I didn't realize that yarrow was a perennial. And so when it came back, I just kept it because anything I don't have to plant twice, I love. So it's pretty heavily, it's got weeds in there, but I at this point cannot ex, you know, get the weeds out from the yarrow. So I'm just gonna leave it. And then down here I have more iris. In the third bed, I've got iris that I planted last fall. This is my biennial bed, mostly apart from the iris. So I have some sweet rocket coming up really pretty and I've got foxglove biennial foxglove coming up the rest of the way I did put out some Albion green pod as a seed and I'm not seeing it come up so I'm not sure if it's gonna live or not but the foxglove rebounded pretty good And I also have what looks to me like um, some stray larkspur that I planted last year that didn't come up, but it looks like it's coming up this year, so I'm letting it come up because I like larkspur. So that's that. That's bed three. Bed four is all of my lilies in this first part. Um, the ones up top that aren't up yet, I planted last fall. 
Sorry, I have one coming up right there. Um, oh, there's a few more popping up. And then these are lily that I planted this spring that are coming up pretty good. In the back section of row four, I have a lot of my cress. Actually, most of my cress is here and it's coming up pretty good. So I'm just gonna cut off of this and it'll keep producing until it gets too hot. This is something that's gonna die off when the heat hits and so I'll probably replace it with more lilies to just make this whole bed a giant lily bed. Okay, in row five, this is, I believe, Sweet William that I planted. This is also a biennial. It is coming back up, um, just not real fast. <laughs> And I think this is carnations left over from last year. You know, anything that started coming up on its own, I just left because I enjoy not having to replant things. So, okay. And in this top part of this field, I have um, in the top part of the field, well, mid, mid part, I have peonies. Sorry, I couldn't remember what I put in here, but it is peonies. And then in this top section, I have the rest of my crest as well as some this looks like bupleurum up here in this top part and i've also got some agrostema right there that's what that is okay in the sixth bed i have some more crust and then the back half is peony in our seventh bed you can see we're working on our irrigation here so it's kind of a mess but in the seventh bed i've got peony that you can see coming up hopefully in the middle, I have another biennial. I think it's Sweet William. I marked it off so I knew not to pull it up, but I lost the sign, so I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> but it's a biennial. Um, and then I'm gonna rip that out when it's done blooming and put more peony here, because the whole bed is peony except for this tiny section. It was kind of an experiment and um, now I know which, which biennials work and which don't. I'll put them all in the same row next time. And so these f last three rows um, are all gonna be peony at some point in time. I try to mark with a green flag everything that is living, and then I permanently mark it um, once it comes up the following year. So I green flag it if it comes up the first year and then I permanently mark it when I know it's a viable peony. That way I don't waste any space. And if any of these die off, I can come back through and replant them. So these are all looking pretty good. And so that is the first eight beds on the inside of my fence. I have eight beds out there that we'll go over in a different video and I will have eventually eight beds up there that we will go over when we put them in